I'm Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. Today I've got a quick and easy tutorial for you. We're going to create these this beautiful layered um, sort of spring Easter inspired floral print that I've used to decorate these bottles. I've sort of recycled them so that I can unuse them and create pretty little ornaments out of them. And if you stick around to the end of the tutorial, I will be drawing and announcing the winner of my 25,000 subscriber giveaway. So you don't want to miss that if you entered that competition. I'm going to move these out of the way and I'll be back to show you how it's done. As always, I'll begin with a quick rundown of what I'm using today. This is my largest size gel plate. This is my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Arts brand gel plate. As you can see, quite old, quite stained, but still working well. I've got a brayer, my speedball rubber brayer, still haven't cleaned it, keep saying every week I must clean it and I still haven't got around to doing it. I'm using some nice pastel shades of acrylic paint today, um, these are the Deco Art Americana brand and I've got Sea Breeze Banana Cream and Poodle Skirt Pink, um, just because I just want to do a sort of spring Easter sort of coloured print here and got, I've got some just spare paper at the side that I use to clean my brayer off in between the different colours of paint. And I've taken some waxed paper, and this is just um, cut right wax paper. Buy that off Amazon, easy to get hold of. And I've I've actually die cut some flowers. These sort of like a, da a sort of daisy design, uh, just to create masks I've got a few small ones um, but most of them are this larger size which is they're almost two inches across and i want to just create a layered floral spring themed print i've just got a piece of um, sketchbook paper here this is some like mixed media paper just cut that slightly larger than my plate to do my print and i'm going to use the prints to decorate a couple of little glass bottles that I've saved. Now these both um, were reed diffusers, they had like scented oil in them and they, they, they've been finished and washed out and I thought I'll keep them because they were nice bottles. So I'm going to create a, a strip of print that can go round the body of this one and two circles that I can stick on sort of either side of this one and then I can decide whether to refill them with some scented oils and turn them back into reed diffusers or maybe as they are little glass um, jars, use them as a bud vase, put a small flower in there or something like that. But I just thought it was a nice sort of seasonal idea of what you can do and I just fancied using some pretty pastel colours. So really quite simple the process today. Gonna put some paint on the plate Use the brayer to get a nice even coat. Then pop some of these flowers down. and hopefully we'll create a bit of a floral design on our print. I'm going to press firmly and evenly all over. And that's the first layer of our print. I'm going to carefully remove these paper masks. It 
Let's see if we can just take off a bit more of that paint. It's probably quite dry on the plate at this point. I've got a little bit onto that scrap of paper. I'm going to clean the plate. This is just some water in a spray bottle. And some paper towel. Then I'm going to go ahead and use different colour paint on the plate so that I can build some layers. There we go. And do you know, I think I'm going to do one more print. I want a little bit more detail on this side here. I'm loving how this side looks. I just want a little bit more there. Because I only want to add some extra detail on one side of my print, I'm just going to put the paint and masks on that one side. There really is no point in spoiling the side that I actually really like as it is. So just printing on this side here where I want some extra detail. And they're really happy with that now that it's just put that extra layer on the top. So I'm going to move these clean my plate and pop my plate away and I will be back to finish off the project. So this is our finished print, lovely layers, nice to see those shapes and sort of almost like a shadowy effect coming through. And I need to cut two circles, so that's one for each side of this little round um, bottle and a strip to go all the way around the width of this bottle. So here's my strip cut to go around my bottle and it is, it's just about the right length. It's as large as I can get on that plate and I don't mind having a little seam at the back. So I'm going to glue that in place and I've cut two circles, one for each side of this little bottle and I'm going to glue those in place as well. I'm just going to finish the necks off with a little bit of ribbon or twine and I'll be back to show you the finished results. And here are my finished decorated little bottles. Uh, this one I've added just some sparkly 
rainbow twine around it. I believe this came from a children's crafting set or something. It wasn't expensive, but uh, I found it in my stash. The colours are absolutely perfect. So I've put a few strands around there, tied it and just trimmed the ends. So really happy with that one. This one is just some um, pink seam binding ribbon that I've scrunched up to get a bit of texture in it and doubled it up around the, the neck of the bottle and tied it in a bow and trimmed it. And again, just sort of matches in with that lovely pink shade of paint. I think I'm probably I'm going to get some scented oils and put some reeds back in there and, and repurpose these again as um, reed diffusers. But they look equally pretty, especially this one here, I think with a little single stem flower out of the garden or something. Um, ideal just to pop in the window or, or give as a gift, a nice little quick and easy gift to make recycling some small bottles you maybe have got like a little jam jars or something like that uh, uh, they would work absolutely perfectly uh, but I've just sort of hung on to these because I thought they were a nice shape of bottle so as always if you enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already but stick around if you're waiting to hear who the lucky winner of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway is good luck to you if you entered and, and commented on that video because I shall be back in a moment to draw the winner so now it's time for me to pick the winner of my 25,000 subscriber giveaway I'm going to use a random comment picker to do this so it's fair so I'm going to copy the URL of this video and paste it into the comment picker. 142 unique um, comments in there. And let's see who the winner is going to be. Congratulations, Siggy Roberts. Hello from London, UK. Love your channel a lot and got plenty of inspirations from it. Art is my escape from the day-by-day -day life. So big congratulations to you to reach 25,000 subs. You deserve it. Thank you for everything. Well, thank you for entering my contest. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for you to contact me. Let me know your full postal address and I will endeavour to get your lovely prize of this brayer and gel plate and journal off to you as soon as I get a chance. But congratulations, um, Siggy. Please do get in touch within the next two weeks and I shall get this prize out to you. Big thank you to everybody who took the time to enter the competition. Um, I, I really appreciate all of you that subscribe, all of you that comment regularly. And I am sure that it won't be long before I'm reaching another milestone and there will be another opportunity for you to try and win a prize from me again. But for now, that's all from me. I'll see you again soon. Bye. <music>